In his testimony to the National Police Inspectorate, the officer stands by his version of the story. Shooting point-blank in the teenager's chest was an act of self-defense, as he felt his life was in danger. The policeman, who's been detained on homicide charges, is a 38-year-old father, well regarded by his superiors, an experienced officer who was highly distinguished. He's never been disciplined. He has two medals for bravery and one from the interior minister. It's very rare to have so many distinctions awarded in a 10-year police career. Key to the investigation are the few barely audible words heard in the video just before the fire. It remains unclear who exactly said the words and whether it was a threat to shoot. The lawyer for the victim's family, though, says the video is sufficient evidence that the officer is at fault. The defense was not legitimate. My clients wish for the law to be applied and the officer indicted and prosecuted. I think only a strict application of the law can calm the situation. The 17-year-old victim, Niall, was already arraigned once for refusing to comply and again last weekend on the same charges. The interior minister says the policeman will be suspended regardless of the verdict. In addition to the legal action, which is obviously in the hands of the justice system, there will be sanctions against the officer. As from the looks of the video, his behavior was not in accordance with the instructions and the law. The second policeman who was on the site has also been questioned by the inspectorate. As for the other two passengers in the victim's car at the time, one was arrested immediately as seen in the video and later released under witness testimony, while the other fled the scene.